We're now going to direct the water from the intake side of the pump to the discharge. So when we tuck the impeller over tight to the side of the pump body, we create an area of high pressure. As it comes around going out to the end of the balut, it's, it's lower pressure, so it's a pathway for that water to follow. Okay? The other thing we're creating at the end of that volute is called the stripping edge. It's a knife-like edge which cuts the water off of the impeller as that impeller rotates. So the two discharges do come together at the end of the, uh, at the discharge flange here. The wear ring actually has a stub that sticks out of it. Okay, so it sticks out on one side. Okay. Now when the water wants to circulate to get back into the eye of the impeller, it has to come down the front shroud on the outside of the recess, on the outside of the wear ring, back towards the impeller, down, then through the clearance back into the eye. Reducing the flow by how, making the water move and break as it comes back into the eye of the impeller, making the impeller more efficient.